Okay, now that we have added some shapes, we've added some images, we've kind of messed with manipulating those in a lot of different ways and ordering them and layering them. The last thing you might wanna do in your Google Slideshow with your images or your objects is link them out to other things. Maybe a YouTube video, um, maybe a different document, maybe a different website. You just want whoever is viewing your slideshow to click on the particular little image that you have and it takes them to somewhere else on the internet. And I use this a lot when I'm creating digital escape rooms because you just want the students to click on the particular clue. Maybe this little purple square is a clue and I want them when they click on that, I want it to take them to another website where my clue is stored. So let's learn how to do that. It's really pretty straightforward. Let's say I want this particular little tiny image when the person viewing it clicks on it, they're going I want them to go to this YouTube video. Well, the first thing I need to do is copy the link for this YouTube video to my clipboard, okay? Just by highlighting it, right clicking and copy, or in YouTube in particular, I can click share and then I can click copy. Same thing, it's just copying it to the clipboard. And now I'm back here on my Google slide. I know that I want this little tiny item to be the thing that when it's clicked, it goes to that YouTube video. So I'm gonna select that item so I can see I've got the blue handles around it. It means it's selected. And then I wanna add a link. Two different ways I can add a link. I can right click on the item and select a link or I can click on the item and click the little insert link button here at the top. Now all I have to do is paste the link that I want and hit apply. Now, if this is in present mode, when somebody clicks here on this item, it's gonna pop open that link in a new window. Now there's not really a good way to keep them on the same slide, so you just have to be aware that any external links are gonna open in new tabs or new windows. The only way to really keep something here within the slideshow itself, um, let me escape out of here and show you. When you're adding a link, you do have the option to link to other slides in the presentation. So let's just link this to the previous slide, let's say hypothetically. Now you can see it says previous slide. Now if I go into present mode, when the viewer clicks on that, it's gonna keep them inside of the slideshow and just take them to the previous slide. So that only works if you're linking to other slides in the same slideshow. Anytime you're linking to something external, that link is just gonna take them outside of the slideshow to go view it. If I want to edit that particular link, let's say I want it to be to something else or I wanna get rid of it, those options are here. If I click on the little pencil, it would let me change that link or add another link or do something different and I could hit apply. I also have the option to remove the link altogether. And there was an option, I'll click on this one, I do have the option to copy that link back to my clipboard if I wanted it for something else. The last thing I'm gonna show you is kind of a culmination of everything and it's what if you wanna have a hidden link that is not tied to any specific picture, but let's say this particular floorboard in a digital escape room was gonna have a creak in it. And I wanted, whenever the students clicked on that particular floorboard, I wanted it to take them to a specific clue. Well, that floorboard is part of this background, which I can't link to, I can't edit, I can't manipulate. So what could I do to make that particular floorboard function as a link? Well, I would have to create an invisible linked shape. This is gonna combine kind of everything that we've done so far. So I'm gonna click on shape and I need something that looks kind of close to the shape of that floorboard. It's probably not gonna be exact, but I can probably pick this parallelogram option and I think it might look pretty close. So let's just see. All right, so that seems fairly close to the shape, but obviously it's mirrored. So it's going the wrong way. So I'm gonna right click on it. I'm gonna do the rotate flip horizontally option that we looked at. Okay, now I'm getting a little bit closer. Now, when you have these shapes, these little yellow diamonds are ways that you can sort of edit the shape itself. So I'm gonna make it a little skinnier that way. And then let's just see if I can kind of fill this shape. Um, it's not probably gonna be an exact science and don't worry about if it's a little ugly or if it doesn't quite match because once we add a link to this, we're gonna go ahead and make it invisible. So I feel pretty good that that's fairly close to covering that floorboard the way I want. The next thing you're gonna do is add in that link. So let's just go back to our cliff climber video pretend that that's the clue or the link we need. Let's add that link in there. We'll just paste it, beautiful. Okay, now 
this white shape is the link, but of course we don't want to see that. We want it to be hidden. So I'm going to click here on the shape and you remember how we changed the color of that shape. We're going to do the same thing, but use that technique to remove all the color from this particular shape. So I'm going to go here to fill and I'm going to say transparent. And then I'm going to go here to border and I'm going to say transparent. And now, unless I've clicked on it, there's nothing there to actually see, but when I go to present mode, notice that one particular board, it turned my mouse into a clicker finger and when I click on it, it acted as an invisible hidden link that took me to the video that I wanted. Hopefully this gave you a nice overview of how you can add and manipulate and move videos around inside of a Google slide. If you have any questions, please let me know.